Hi everybody, I'm Tim Dinelli and we are in the coach's office of the Charlotte Rush here at the Extreme Ice Center to talk Charlotte Rush Premier Hockey. The Rush opening up at home this weekend after being on the road uh, for a couple of weekends early on. And now we finally get to come back at home this Saturday and Sunday. The uh, Rush Premier will play at approximately 8 o'clock on Saturday night and approximately 12 noon on Sunday. We want to find out all the latest happenings of the Charlotte Rush Premier. And to do that, let's bring in the head coach of the Rush Premier, Troy Schwab. And Troy, welcome back for a second year with our organization, but congratulations on being elevated to the uh, head coach of the Charlotte Rush Premier, uh, Trevor Jewell, who along with Ryan Crothers coached the team last year, but both are off into different things. Trevor's taken a different role uh, with the organization. So you were the obvious choice to be elevated and you know the guys and everything, right? So congratulations on that. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I'd like to think I was the obvious choice, but you never know, right? So no, it's uh, it's been good. You know, I'm, uh, I was excited to, to take on the role, the premier job and, um, you know, kind of get to work with some of these guys that we had last year. Some of my elite guys move up to the premier level and um, you know, big shoes to fill with, with Ryan and Trevor before me, but you know, they're here, they're still involved. They're around every day, you know, we're in constant communication about what we're doing and lineup decisions. So, um, even though I'm, I'm the coach, they're still heavily involved, which is good. That's the way I'd want it. Um, so it's been good so far. Troy, if I say it, you're the obvious choice. That's the, you're the obvious <laughs> choice. No, I'm just teasing, but it is the, he is the obvious choice. And, uh, Troy got to send congrats out too for you as the head coach winning the elite championship, national championship, and then assisting Ryan and Trevor for the premier team. I mean, to do a double dip, it's almost impossible, but the rush did it. It speaks a lot to you and our organization. Yeah, I mean, what a, what a wild run there at the end, right? I mean, to win one um, is extremely tough at this level, and to be able to do both, um, you know, I don't think people really understand how tough that was to do. And you know, it was, uh, it was a good weekend up there and, um, you know, we were able to get it done with the elite team and I think that propelled our premier team a little bit, right? I, I think if the elite team doesn't, doesn't get that mm. done, it, it, you know, from a, you know, a momentum swing, I think, you know, it's uh, a little bit tougher at the premier level. I think they probably still get it done. Um, you know, it just kind of helped us a little bit, you know, mm. with uh, the mindset going into it. But, you know, that, that elite team last year, um, you know, credit goes to, you know, th that team was pretty much here before I, before mm -hmm. I got hired. So, mm -hmm. you know, credit goes to Matt Dibble and, and Trevor mm -hmm. and Ryan and the, the team that they put, it, put on the, gave me, right? The team that they put on paper and the team that they put in that locker room. And, mm -hmm. you know, I was just there as a coach, but that team was, that team was loaded. I mean, they were, uh, our elite team was a premier team in, in a lot of, a lot of leagues. And um, I still firmly believe that we could have beat a lot of premier teams. That's mm -hmm. how good that that team was. So um, as a coach, it was, uh, it was easy coaching, uh, a team of that caliber so it was a lot of fun last year and of course uh, you're working with Jacob Smolovich who was on the other side of the bench last year with Charleston and what a big battle that was uh, I assume he's buying the lunches these days Troy no but he probably should right I mean, uh, <laughs> there was no team I like beating more last year than the Charleston Colonials oh so. my the daggers are flying right now <laughs> Troy talk about your recruiting over the summer I don't think anybody recruits as well as the Charlotte Rush did you get most of the guys you wanted well, yeah, I mean, I think we, you know, we, uh, we got a lot of, we got some key guys, we got some good players um, that we were going after, um, you know, as the summer progresses, you always lose a guy here or there, right? For us, you know, at the start of the summer, it was just bringing back a lot of our guys. Mm -hmm. we, had, uh, mm -hmm. we had a lot of guys that we brought back and we had some guys that we were expecting to come back and now they've made the jump to tier two, um, you know, so we've kind of lost them. But, you know, a lot of our roster, and, and again, I, I keep going back to Matt Dibble and, and Trevor Jewell now, um, and the guys that they give us, the guys that they um, provide us as coaches to play with, right? I mean, they do a lot of the legwork. They uh, they find the guys for us. They locate or, you know, they pinpoint, okay, this is a rush player. This is a really good player. Um, have conversations and, you know, here, go go from here kind of thing, right? And those two, the work that they've done um, last year and now this year to, to put the product that we see, mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't think I could ever underestimate. Um, how important they are and, and how much they do um, building our roster on an everyday basis. I mean, we're, you know, two weeks, three weeks into the season right now and, and they're still out there trying to locate players, right, to, to get us better, to make us a better team. And um, the work that they do is, is greatly appreciated mm -hmm. within the walls of this office and, and within the organization. Well, again, we don't want to brag, but the Charlotte Rush organization, we have so many good things to offer. We have a winning 
organization, traditional winners. We have a beautiful facility. We got great coaches. So we got a lot to offer. Yeah, we do. I, and I mean, it starts at the top, right? I mean, um, Ryan and Julie and Jocelyn and Saul and, um, you know, if you always do things the right way and you put people in the proper position to have success and, um, you know, they give us all the tools we need, mm -hmm. right? Uh, there's nothing that they say, no, we can't do. If that, if it helps us be better and helps, um, A, helps us win, but B, you know, also helps us develop these players and make them better players and people, you know, they, they never say no, right? They, they give us everything we need to be successful. And, um, you know, it's a trickle down. The owners give it to the coaches, the coaches try to give it to the players. And, um, you know, we just, over the years, they've had success, and it's our job just to kind of continue that. Troy Schwab, head coach of the Charlotte Rush Premier, visiting with us just a couple of days away from the Rush being at home for the first time this season, this Saturday and Sunday. Let's take a look at the Premier standings right now, the Rush scoring leaders, the Rush goaltending leaders, and also the uh, top 20 around the USPHL Premier. Back with Troy Schwab, head coach of the Charlotte Rush Premier. Look at the season so far, Troy. You come in 4 1 and 1. Uh, went to Raleigh, got two big wins there against the Junior Hurricanes. Then we went to the showcase and stumbled a little bit early, but finished well in the four games. Yeah, you know, I think the first two games against Raleigh, we were just okay. Um, I think the first game, we kind of got off to a slow start. We played a little bit better as the game went on. Um, the second night there, or the second morning, I guess, um, I thought we played well. And then we went into the showcase and I thought we stunk, right? Mm. I think the first two games, I don't think we played well at all. Um, we didn't have energy, we weren't engaged, guys didn't compete. Um, you know, I, I think we got a young group, it's first showcase, there was lots of schools there, maybe guys mm -hmm. were um, a little nervous, a little mm -hmm. up to, uptight and, um, you know, expecting to win, expecting to do good things, right? And, and trying to carry that rush culture, that rush, you know, standard of winning and, and maybe it got to them a little bit. Um, you know, we kind of wanted it easy. Well. As you know, things don't come easy, right? So I think in game three and four, we kind of got back to, you know, just working hard, playing hard, um, and we were able to have some success. I mean, there's lots of things from, you know, when we won those two games that, you know, we look back and we talked about this morning, we'll talk about again tomorrow is, you know, adjustments we need to make and things that we need to be doing better. Um, but it's early in the season and mm -hmm. we'll get there. All right, definitely. Uh, no doubt about that. And it is very early and so, uh, we're looking forward to a couple of big wins this weekend against Hampton Roads. Well, Troy, thanks so much. And uh, again, uh, congratulations on your promotion. Congratulations on uh, being a part of winning the two national championships last year. We look for a couple of big wins against Hampton Roads this weekend. Yeah, no, we're, uh, we're extremely excited to get back in our own building and um, get back to playing some games. You know, I'm sure there'll be some families in town. And, mm. um, we do a lot with, with youth hockey in our billets, and um, it'll be nice to get back and, and play some games in front of them. So um, we're excited for, for this weekend uh, to get, get our home schedule kind of started here. So um, it should be a good weekend. Thank you for your time, Troy, and the thoughts and observations. Appreciate it very much. Yeah, no problem, Tim. And, you know, I, I think we got to make mention about you and, and the summer that you had and <laughs> how good you're looking these days. So uh, it's good to see you back here in the building. Thanks, Troy. I appreciate that. Yeah, I was joking with a lot of people. I even joked with Julie Crother saying I'm going to take a lot up a lot less space in a broadcast <laughs> booth this year. Thank you, Troy. Troy Schwab, head coach of the Charlotte Rush Premier, visiting with us a few days away from the Rush home opening weekend. Also want to say, too, welcome back to Ray Sylvester, our video coordinator. Hey, how many teams have a full-time video coordinator? And Ray made a big contribution to the team last year. So glad that he's back as well. We'll visit our Rush social media platforms to get complete information on the Charlotte Rush. See you this weekend here at the Extreme Ice Center. And for all of us at the Charlotte Rush, I'm Tim Vanelli. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.